We have exclusive video of police still searching for the gun used in the shooting of a worker at the Cracker Barrel restaurant in St. Charles. We also have video of this stolen car. You can see this from Bomarito Automotive Group Sky Fox. That is also key evidence in this case. Fox 2's Andy Banker pieces together everything he's been finding out for us today. He is live now from the restaurant. Andy. Yeah, and we just got this bit, Mandy. You can imagine how frightened workers here are. Well, a St. Charles police officer was just inside the restaurant making sure they knew he's going to be here throughout the close of business tonight and until the time that all of them have gotten safely to their cars, even though police say all the suspects are now in custody. They just want everyone to feel reassured. This is right across the street from the St. Charles Convention Center. Police say it happened around 5.30. Back here in this area behind the restaurant where all the dumpsters are fenced in. Cracker Barrel was closed at the time of the shooting. We're trying to find that gun and we don't have it right now. So if, if anybody works or is or, you know, driving in that area or walking you know, in that Earth City area and finds a gun, please contact the St. Charles Police Department. Police give this account. A 52-year-old Cracker Barrel worker started his car to warm it up as he was taking out the trash before leaving. He yelled at three teen boys when he saw one of them get into his car. One immediately started shooting, hitting the worker twice. He survived. Police say the suspects took off in this gray Nissan you see from Bomarito Automotive Group Sky Fox, leaving the worker's car behind. Police say the suspects ran from the Nissan after it blew a tire on eastbound I-70 near 141 and then stole a work truck from the nearby Champ landfill. Police say they crashed the truck into a ditch near Riverport where they met three girls they had dropped off at a nearby hotel prior to the shooting. Police had rounded up all six of them by 8.30. The boys, ages 14, 15, and 16, are in St. Louis County juvenile custody. Police say the girls are considered witnesses after the fact. As a precaution, Pattonville High, Holman Middle, and Roseacres Elementary Schools canceled in-person classes, switching instead to virtual learning for the day. It could easily be a homicide. People aren't just trying to steal cars anymore. When they're doing it or trying to break in cars or steal cars, they are more often times than not armed with guns and in this case today they were armed with a gun and they're not afraid to shoot you now, i just spoke with a woman who lives at a neighboring apartment complex she and her husband say they are now backing their car in because they heard that's more advantageous to you for protection as opposed to gunmen potentially or carjackers who may want to sneak around uh, from the back side she says she was up at the time of the shooting and she heard four shots total. Police say the worker was hit twice, once in the elbow and once in his buttocks. He was taken to a hospital, but his injuries are not life-threatening. Live in St. Charles, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.